Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is actually a really impromptu video. I finished filming my other videos for the day and then I had this idea and I was like, okay girl, you need to sit down and do this right now. So today we're gonna be talking about my fragrances that I have repurchased or re up The overconsumption was real in 2023. So I just found myself buying new fragrances all the time, but there are a select few that really stuck out to me. I actually ended up using them and having to repurchase. So let's get right into the video. The first fragrance that I would like to mention is La Danza del Libelul and this is by Noble 1942. This is a very stunning apple, coconut, vanilla scent. This is so creamy and lactonic and the apple is front and center. This is a really fresh scent, um, perfect for the fall, spring, winter even possibly. This is just so like crisp. It's like a crisp, refreshing apple. But then you're also getting like a coconut cream kind of vibe with a very beautiful silky vanilla base. This is just a really stunning fragrance. Um, I, so many people will love this. I feel like most people will love this fragrance. Um, it's hyped for a reason. I think the hype is really real with this one. So this is La Danza del Libelul. Libelul, yeah. So oh, there's actually two fragrances from Kayali that I want to talk about that I did end up upgrading this past year. Um, and this is Love Fest Burning Cherry and this one is Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. So Love Fest Burning Cherry is a very beautiful, dark, woody cherry scent. There's notes of burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, guayac wood, as well as patchouli. And it's sweet and seductive and just a very beautiful cherry scent. I just find it to be so intoxicating and I literally ran through it last year. Um, I'm not really one for layering, but I did layer this a lot with a lot of vanillas last year and I just find it to be so stunning. Um, I did not want to not have this in my collection. And then also same thing with Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. This is easily one of my favorite Kayali fragrances. Um, obviously you guys know that Silk Suntal will always be my number one unless you know something better comes out or she released another fragrance that absolutely blows my mind. But Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli is really up there in my favorites. Um, this is a close second or possibly third, but it's definitely up there in my top three. And this is just a very beautiful, royal feeling fragrance. There's notes of vanilla, sour absolute, golden rum, creme brulee, brown sugar, royal oud, as well as sugar patchouli. It's a sweet fragrance. You can definitely feel the Middle Eastern touches in this fragrance. It definitely um, strays away from typical Western fragrances, which I really liked and appreciated in this fragrance. Um, it's absolutely stunning, beautiful, boozy, powerhouse vanilla, and the patchouli is actually really good for patchouli beginners or people that may not enjoy it because it is sugared. Um, but yes, this I ran through a travel spray and I had to go ahead and repurchase this um, in a larger bottle because both absolutely stunning. Another fragrance that I ended up repurchasing was Yes I Am by Cacherelle. So this was one of my fragrances that I got in the beginning of my fragrance journey. Um, I think I really started like collecting, I wanna say like October 2022. So as you can see, I'm still kind of new here. It hasn't even been two years. But I remember when I got this fragrance, I fell in love with it. So for me, this feels like um, like a juicy couture fragrance, but like amped up, more powerhouse, more in your face. This fragrance is absolutely stunning. It's fruity, there's some like tonic qualities in here. It's sweet and gourmand for sure, very fruity. Um, there's caramel in here, there's woody notes in here. I believe there's like lactonic or milky notes in here. It's kind of fresh, spicy. Um, there's definitely citrus up top. And overall, it's just a really beautiful fragrance. There's a lot of notes in here, but I adore this fragrance so much. And a lot of people may find the bottle to be um, cheesy, I guess, or 
just kind of too much. I adore this. I think it's so cute. And I really like the fragrance. I feel like it's a perfect fall fragrance or if you do live in a warmer climate and it's not ever going to get to be winter where you are, this is a perfect fragrance to wear when you're experiencing your version of winter. Um, but yeah, I just really, really like this fragrance. And it's a cheapie. It's a very good and affordable cheapie. Um, one of my favorite more affordable fragrances for sure. Another fragrance that I ended up upping or repurchasing was New Orleans by City Rhythm. So I got a travel spray of this um, gifted for a review in October, I want to say and last October and I absolutely fell head over heels in love with this fragrance. Um, it's a, it opens up with a beautiful cherry scent and you're also going to get a bunch of fruity notes along with it. There's notes of like jackfruit, lychee, um, raspberry, butter and cinnamon up top and it really does turn into like a fruity scent mixed with like cinnamon beignets mixed with booze mixed with woody notes mixed with tobacco and it's just a very very nice scent um i really like it i feel like it could lean more masculine me i don't really care for masculine feminine because i don't really i don't know i feel like i gravitate more towards unisex maybe slightly masculine fragrances anyways but i just really really like this fragrance it's so yummy and it's one to talk about, one to look at, and yeah, I'm so happy I repurchased in a larger bottle, and the juice is stunning as always. Um, it has it has mica in it, so all the juices shimmer, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's the little details, it's the little details that make all the difference. Another fragrance that I ended up repurchasing was Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess by Killian. Um, or commonly referred to as Princess by Killian. And this is a very beautiful scent. It's a very soft scent. Um, it doesn't project or last as long as I would like it to. I actually might even consider getting another travel spray just because it does not project. I've heard Dua's impression of this, like Princeless Princess is actually, I've heard it's actually a lot nicer than this and it lasts a lot longer. So I actually might check that out before I repurchase this. Um, but this is a really beautiful matcha, marshmallow, stunning floral scent. Um, it's so cozy, so comforting. I feel like it's worth the hype. I just wish it lasted longer. Um, so like I said before, I either will be grabbing another travel spray to carry around with me or I will just be grabbing Tua's version. Um, I, I do need to check it out though before I go ahead and make that buy. But yes, I have repurchased this and I can't say that I regret it because it is very stunning. I feel like some scents will just do that to you. Like you don't even always care about longevity just because it's such a pretty scent. So the next scent that I ended up repurchasing or re-upping on was Dulce by Rosie Jane. When I tell you my travel spray was empty absolutely empty oh my gosh guys i had not a drop left this is a very beautiful ice cream it's a very beautiful vanilla fragrance but honestly truly it smells like vanilla ice cream on a waffle cone or like a sugar cone so some people say they get chocolate i'm gonna be honest with you I don't really smell that here i really am just getting vanilla ice cream on a sugar cone and it's very sweet it's very simple straightforward um easy to layer and it goes good with a lot of gourmand perfumes, truly, because I mean like vanilla ice cream goes good with many cakes and pastries, right? So this is really nice to layer and I really, really enjoy this fragrance. Um, I definitely think it was worth repurchasing. Another fragrance that I've re-upped on or repurchased is Brazilian Crush Cherosa 71. This is a very stunning body mist. It smells like toasted vanilla macadamia nut cookies with a caramel drizzle. This fragrance is absolutely stunning um, and it's really, really affordable. So I appreciate that because it's easy to spray a lot of considering it still is a body mist. It does project pretty decently and create a stunning scent bubble. 
but um, yeah, I have gone through one of these and I do have another bottle and I'm probably gonna end up getting another bottle just because this is so, so beautiful. This is my favorite Sol de Janeiro by far and I highly recommend it um, if you haven't really checked out the Sol de Janeiro's yet. This is so, so pretty. Last one, I don't exactly know if this counts, but I want to include it anyways considering I do have two bottles of it. So I actually have two bottles of Baby Cat, and that's just because when I smelled it um, the first time and got my first bottle, I realized how much I fell in love with it. I wore it so often. Um, I was spraying it on the people around me, and I was like, oh wow, this is pretty hard to find. Um, I got lucky the first time, so I went ahead and picked up a second bottle, and I'm so happy I did because I am I'm set with baby cat for forever, and this is just the most intoxicating, spicy. It starts off with a lot of spices. Um, there's black and pink pepper in this. There's some saffron in here. There's a balsamic quality to it. There's elamine, and it creates a piney, balsamic, and slightly fresh kind of feel. To my nose, it almost gave off like a bergamot and pine tree kind of feel. Um, there's saffron in this, and there's just a lot of beautiful notes. Um, a lot of spicy, stunning notes. It was done in a very gorgeous way. And it just turns into the most beautiful, fluffy, vanilla, woody scent. Like, just this whole fragrance through and through is a masterpiece to me. It, I honestly, if I had to pick one fragrance for life, this would be it. Like, I can honestly say this is my favorite fragrance. Um, but yeah, I just really, really love it. I have a backup bottle. So I know I didn't exactly finish it. And, um get another one, but I did want to mention it considering I did love it enough to get another bottle. So um, I honestly really, really enjoyed this topic and I want to know the fragrances that you guys have re-upped on that were so amazing that you either had to upgrade your size or get a replacement bottle completely. Um, just because it's so fun, you know, when we find fragrances that really work with us and we're constantly reaching for them. So I would love to know which of those do that for you guys. I would love to know which fragrances you guys are obsessed with and have had to replace. Um, so please comment that down below. Thank you so much for getting to the end. I love and appreciate you guys always. So with that being said, love you guys. Bye.